tutorial uh, which uh, which will help beginners out to just start start off using this software and uh, I'm, I've got a lot of requests for people who um, who just like to start off using FL Studio and are just really confused as to what to do next after just uh, buying the software downloading it uh, so I'm gonna just basically help you out understand what the interface is and what all is actually going on on the sole screen um, excuse me if I like um, miss something or you know points because there is a lot of stuff and I'm just trying to make this really small so that you can just start off making music so um, let's start this and um, I'm just gonna quickly explain what the interface is like and what everything out here is like so uh, firstly on the left side we have the packs now this is where all the instruments are you have your samples I'm just gonna increase the volume uh, here are all the kicks and um, and, I'm, and you'll have to know like knowledge about what each of these are, what what each sound is in order for you to start. So um, that shouldn't be too hard. You can just basically go ahead and listen to them and you'll understand them immediately. So um, after that, once you know, so we have all the sounds here and uh, this is the mixer. Here's where you can mix your sounds. Um, add effects to them and change their frequencies now I don't want to get into this too much because I know for beginners it's just going to be really confusing how to operate with a mixer uh, but I have made another tutorial on how to um, master your instruments and stuff I will link I, I will leave a link down below here so you can check that out if you want to um, see how you can master your instruments properly but I'm not going to get too much into the mixer because I want you to focus on just getting to know the software and just start off making music in the beginning because you don't know whether it will be fun or not so there's no point of getting into the mixing part of it before you understand what it's just like to make the music so that's the mixer then we have this now this is often used by many producers in softwares like um, Logic and Ableton uh, they don't have this kind of like a beat matcher or a beat pattern maker I don't know what you would call it precisely but um, they don't have this this um, this like a sequencer so uh, this is an advantage for FL Studio because it allows you to make beats really fast so let's say you've you've just dragged and dropped a sample here like I've already dragged and dropped a kick here so I'm just gonna use that and then you can make it on four steps or two steps or eight steps or and, and you can put them by yourself also if you like to um, make your own patterns so I'm just gonna put down one here quickly and uh, this is just the kick and now where I'm putting this is the playlist now this is where your song will come into play completely this is just the pattern place where you can make small little loops which you can put into the song and this is the actual song so this here's where all the contents of the song go now it can be a little confusing in the beginning, uh, especially for people who have absolutely no clue about how electronic music is made or any other type of music is made. Uh, but this is just the um, the place where the song completely fits in and um, the whole duration of the song is here. So out here you'll see the minutes of the song and you can change the settings according to your preferences. Um, there'll be a minutes like uh, I'll just show you. Right now it's working. It's working on the seconds basis, so um, uh, you'll you'll see that by by this time, by nine seconds you have um, by nine beats out here, you have 15 seconds gone, and uh, you can change these settings by just simply clicking on it, and you'll understand it by yourself. It's not that hard to um, understand. Uh, then, um, so once you've got this, you can place as many beats as you like. Um, there's not only beats which you can place here, you can place melodies also. Now, um, this is a project which I made before for another tutorial. So I've already got some melodies and stuff uh, ready out here. And um, so firstly, before we get into melodies and stuff, uh, you need to know that you can insert or replace. So insert means inserting a new plugin. Now, a plugin is something which makes sounds or um, yeah, it basically makes sounds just to make it simpler for you to understand it makes sounds and um, you want to insert these like this by clicking any of the plugins you may not have as many plugins as you see here um, you'll just have the basic FL studio plugins which is good enough just to start off 
um it's going to look a bit like this and it it is a really like it's really complicated and confusing but um don't get intimidated by it uh, all you want to do now is use the presets because um usually people would say make your own sounds and stuff but if you're a beginner you just want to use presets you don't want to get too complex with the stuff because you don't know if you're going to enjoy this or not but in the beginning it's just about having fun so use the presets and just have fun with all the sounds so i'll just show you a couple out here <laughs> and uh, so just use all the presets and just have fun with it so after you know how to um you know use the presets and just fiddle around with a bit of the knobs the common knobs would be the pluck the frequency knob uh you can fiddle with this and you can change the envelope and stuff which is more complex so you might want to leave the envelope part of it for a bit so after you've got that you need to look into plugins and um you have to go to the piano roll now the piano roll is basically like putting down melodies into a piano but this time it will have it play through uh, just clicking play and it will play it in a sequence like this so um it's a bit hard to explain i don't know how i'm going to explain this precisely but it's basically like a piano so you've got from uh, you've got different octaves of a piano and you can use this it's from uh, 0 to 10 you can see here and do you basically want to plot down melodies uh, if you already have common musical knowledge this is very easy for you you already know what to do next uh now your thing is about the timing because when i started off i realized i didn't have rhythm i didn't have the timing i didn't understand what these bars meant out here what, how are they helping us so once you get used to it you'll understand that these bars create a rhythm so you want to kind of use fiddle around with these bars to create a rhythm which moves along now if you've already played the piano or the guitar you you probably strum in rhythm or play the piano in a rhythm it's the same way you want to create those rhythms and in the beginning it's going to be a little hard but slowly as you get used to it it will become easier and easier for you and um it just takes more time you just got to get used to the software in, in the beginning it's always just a, a bit confusing and a bit annoying because you don't know and you really just want to make good music but you can't get to that step really quickly so so um so that's about it for the plugins and putting down melodies you can simply click either this or you can simply click on this uh, melody um uh, like it just gives you a kind of like a preview of what the melody looks like so you can just click on that and you'll straight away jump into the piano roll and start creating your beats uh i'm i'm going to be missing a lot of points here i know uh, for people who've already started off the software they're going to be a little critical about how i've given this tutorial uh but i'm just trying my best to make this as simple as possible for everyone who's using this uh who has just begun uh, who has just started off using this software so um after you've got that so there are two elements which are there one is just the sounds and one is the instruments and if let's say later on if you want to add vocals that will come as a separate element altogether now in sounds you'll have different frequencies which is high mids and lows you got to remember these frequencies because they need to be separate from each other you can't have the high have both low elements and high elements because that will interfere with both sounds creating like a phase which just sounds bad in music so you want to keep these elements separate uh this is going to be a little confusing in the beginning and to understand what highs lows and mids are i have um i've created a tutorial which shows you the difference between the three uh, sounds and it's uh, it's got the same project which i've got here and um that's what you want to do now is focus on um uh, just creating melodies and putting them together with with like a with with instruments and if you already have knowledge about you know other songs and if you listen to other songs very carefully you will understand how to use the software even more better so uh, you want to look at other songs also while doing that and i think uh, one of the things which helped me out when i was starting was to copy other songs now i know it's not a good suggestion to copy others but just to start off just to start off you should actually you uh, refer to other songs to um just to get to know what what you're supposed to do now uh, i don't mean later on also copying their songs or their styles or something like that i mean just starting off to get an idea 
and i think at least it helped me out when i was remaking songs to understand what songs are like and how i could use the software to make songs in the first few years it's going to be a little different and it may you may uh, find it easier for you if you um i don't know if you have already previous music knowledge it's only easier for you to just look into and start making music so um i'm just going to show you some stuff here so you get an idea of what's going on uh let me just split, split this by channel so that each separate channel has a different melody and uh, i'm just going to plot this down one by one so you can see these are patterns and you you can have separate patterns by going up and down and you can add these patterns simply by um right clicking or left clicking actually left clicking to add these patterns and right clicking to remove these patterns and you want to add at least um i'm adding here I think around five patterns or six patterns. I'm not sure. And uh, the first three are just um, melodies. Then the fourth starts with the um, instruments. That is the kick, and here's the clap, and uh, here's the ride. So um, you want to put together more instruments, create more loops, so that it sounds better. But in the beginning, just start off using melodies, simple stuff. Try and copy others' music so that you get an idea of. Okay, fine. This is how you can put something to make it sound good, but don't um, ultimately also once you start becoming good at it, don't just copy other artists to make something. Even if you do, at least make it a little bit different. Make it your own style. Make sure you can maintain a genre, but don't like completely copy someone. Now, um, so now that I've put this down, here are two uh, different elements all together. Here's the instruments which I've pulled down. and this is the melodies now this has the high the mids and the low now the low is all the bass sound so i'm i'll just show you that you might have to put headphones to hear this because it it's bass so it might be hard to hear on speakers so that's the bass then we have the mid and we have the high So you can see the difference between these three frequencies, and you want to maintain these frequencies while making your song. So when you start off, make sure you you can start off with any element you like. Could be the you can start off with the high, you can start off with the mid or the bass. People prefer starting with the bass because that gives like a a slight bass actually, that is spelled as B A S E for just to start off with the high frequencies after that. So once you have a bass for the bass. then you can start off making high frequencies and uh, it makes it simpler because you have an idea of what the bass tune is going to be like so you can move ahead and progress with the song so here's the bass with the kick now now I've made tutorials on um, other aspects which are a little more into depth with all of these things like side chaining is important because you want you want to hear the kick so that's why you want to use the side chain to make sure that the kick is heard along with the other frequencies so that is all about mixing so i've made separate tutorials for that so that you can go and check that out this is just for you to start off making music and just have fun in the beginning and um i've got another project here which is all of these elements which you see here fitted into just one pattern and uh, you can hear what that sounds like also it's got a different melody also so that's exactly what you want to do you want to just have fun and um try and get samples from online stuff or try and not get like copyrighted samples because you'll have trouble with uh, royalty and stuff um uh, i'll leave a link, link down below for for these packs called vengeance packs which are actually really good for starting off They're a bit expensive, but I'll leave a link down below for you to go and uh, buy those uh, packs if you're really into starting off with this. You can buy one pack and just start off, but remember those have copyright issues at times, so just watch out for that. Otherwise, at the moment you really don't need to bother because you're just starting off, so it doesn't really matter. But try and gain more samples, and you can drop more samples here, um, and you can even just go back to your desktop and drag and drop samples into this place and use those samples if you like. um so that's about it about starting off just how to use fl studio and um 
here are some stuff which I can just quickly explain to you um, here's the BPM this is the speed of the song this is the patterns which I already showed you here and um, here are some tools which you can use um, like this is the one tool which it's like a paintbrush so it allows you to make multiple uh, by just um, to apply multiple patterns by just clicking once and uh, this will uh, this will help you just this won't allow you to do that this you'll have to click separately for each of them and um, this is the cut tool where you can cut uh, separate patterns like this and use them as clips somewhere else if you like so you can remove these and use them somewhere else uh, just to make another melody or to add variation or whatever you like and there are many more other tools but the commonly used are this this and this and um, if you want to change this grid if let's say you want to add a really small sound here you can obviously use the snap to grid feature which and you can remove it if you if you just want to randomly move around stuff without having to snap to anything and um, you might want to stick to the 4 beat for the just the beginning you might want to stick to this because um, you you don't want to get too out of rhythm looking into that kind of stuff because this if you go fiddle around with this too much you might just get uh, your sounds out of rhythm and then it just won't sound great so um, yeah that about completes the whole uh, beginners tutorial into how, how to start and I know I've not explained all of these elements and what everything does but I don't think when I started I barely even looked at any of that except for this this and this I didn't look at anything else I barely even looked at the mixer um, but once you start learning I'm sure there are more tutorials which are there on my channel which will help you understand more about how to go about this whole software I've tried my best to explain it although it's really confusing to explain it to someone um, after you've practiced on it for years but I've tried my best I don't know how much this would help you guys if it um, if it has helped please leave a like and um, if you have any suggestions for any tutorials or anything please do um, uh, mention them in the comments and uh, and if I missed out something do mention that also in the comments so thanks for watching and um, I'll be releasing new songs by April so you can expect that and um, if you have any more suggestions for tutorials please do let me know in the comments and I'll make them for sure thanks